The very concept of an alpha male is absolutely stupid. I mean, basically what it promotes is that if you're the loudest, dumbest guy in the room, that people are going to like and respect you. In some cases that's true, but here's the deal. Humans are dogs. And what's going to happen is the alpha male always loses to the guy who's competent. Competent. You see, if you're a competent individual, everything that the other person has to say is null and void. If they're wrong, they're an asshole. If you're socially competent, if you're a professionally competent, you know how to do your job, you know how to do what's right, you know what's wrong, you know how to manipulate the system in a correct and effective way, you know how to benefit yourself and other people in a correct and effective way, you know how to manage your time, you know how to manage up, you know how to manage down in terms of your employers and your employees. If you know how to do this stuff, everything that this loudmouth Jack and Daddy's saying is going to become null and void. So, in other words, you go into a bar or a club or whatever and hey, you're talking to chicks you got this jackass says, yeah man I'm one up in dudes and I'm being a douche and I'm jumping in conversations and I'm saying all this crap and blah 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 and the chicks are like ooh he says whatever the competent guy's gonna go and he's gonna co talk to her he's gonna converse about something logical not logical but something interesting or, or say things that normally aren't interesting but know how to grab her interest to where she actually listens to what he's saying and she likes it and she gets off on it and they go out and what's gonna happen what always happens is when a competent guy comes in the room everyone listens everyone listens because he's interested he knows what the hell's going on he has common sense it's common sense across the board it's not this blah 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 being loud and I'm wearing a, a, a boa with some shiny boots and, and some peak coat or some crap. You know? Looking like a douche. And you really want to run around here, you know, making all this crap up, talking about alpha males and beta males like they're a pack of dogs. You know, you're either going to be one of these dogs, you know, you put a dog against a man. And look, here's the deal. Dogs. When they breathe too much, what happens? They get the they get their testicles cut off. They get spayed or neutered. You know that don't happen to humans in America, at least maybe in Saudi Arabia or something. You know, or in jail. I don't know. Maybe it happens in jail. I don't. Well, whatever. Who cares about jail? Here, the, the fact is, most humans, and if they are, done, if it is done to humans, usually it's done by either a human or something like a bear. Because you can't beat a bear. It's like it's about knives. Alright, bears have these claws and just slice your face off like that moron that took his girlfriend in Yosemite. He's like, oh, I'm gonna go with the bears in the woods, because I'm an adventurer. And they were both scared. I, I, heard, I heard about the video tape. They were both scared. They're like, honey, I don't know if this is safe. And the bear rips open the thing and eats them both alive and leaves his head wash. Just so it shows his wrist watch, excuse me, to show that he's an idiot. Because all you animal rights people are just, uh, retarded. Ooh, it's about caring about it. animals or food. Alright, so I'm just gonna leave that there. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, yeah, the concept of alpha males is just dumb. It's, it serves no purpose. You know, if you want to model, if you, that's, that's, that's one thing that seriously irritates me nowadays because since no one knows how to be a man, no one knows how to be a woman, no one knows how to be a human being. They start looking at animals in America because there's like no culture, there's no real culture because everything changes like every five years. Like people don't even remember what happened in like 1987. Nobody, cares, nobody remembers the culture of like 1993 or anything. It just fluctuates so much that people just grasp onto anything. That's why dudes are like, they can't even deal with their women so they're like, and so instead of tackling the problem, they're like, run overseas and get a Filipino, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. Filipinos are nice, you know, they can't pronounce P's right, but they're nice people. There's nothing wrong with dating outside your race, I'm not saying that, but I mean, they can't deal with their own women, so they run to Europe, or Jamaica, or Africa, <laughs> like Africa's a country, and they all they'll go, you know, like, I'm gonna go to Nigeria and get a wife, I'm gonna go to, to, uh, I don't know, some I went to the Pacific and get a wife. I'm gonna run to France. Hey, I'm gonna go to Asia. Hey. It's 
instead of dealing with their women. Because all that's going to happen is you're going to bring her over here, she's going to get Americanized and be the same thing. So eventually, instead of running for the problem, you're going to have to actually tackle it. You know, alpha males, alpha dogs, they'll run. And then all their little beta dogs will run behind them. A human will tactically figure out the problem. They'll use guile, force cutting, logic to figure out the situation, assess it, and then act. It is best interest in the interest of the group. Or just his own that happens to benefit the group, whatever, what have you. You know, instead of doing that, instead of doing that, you run. You run from the problems, you run from them, and they catch up with you. You try to augment the problems into some other garbage. And then eventually it just manifests again over and over and over until you face it. But then by the time you face it, you're so goddamn adept that you can't even adapt to the new situation. So you probably just give up on life or settle for something that you absolutely abhor. That's what happens. Beta males, alpha males. The concept of alpha males is stupid. If you're not competent... All the boasting and idiocy is not going to save you. It's not going to benefit you because in the long run, you're just going to be like an animal. An alpha animal. On a human's wall. And in the real world, that wall is going to be the wall. You're going to be a wallflower. The fun guy in the past who was just now a loser. Because he used tricks, parlor tricks to try and become a man instead of just acting like a human being. He doesn't come and sit. I mean, you can be a forceful man. You can be a direct man. You can be a loud man. But if you're incompetent, you're worthless because you're not a human. You're an animal. A pathetic, petty animal. I mean, if you look at all the great animals, though, all the respected animals like pit bulls are vicious, violent creatures because they're intelligent. They know how to play and cut plot they understand the logic of humans, so they'll play to your emotions. And if they get, if they like you, they'll be nice forever, loyal forever. If they don't, they'll play nice, get you in a mode of vulnerability, and kill you. That's what makes them dangerous. It is the breed. They're dangerous. They're logical. I respect them, but they're a violent, intelligent breed. One of the smartest dogs, because they aren't broken inside. They don't have that. That they're not like golden retrievers, or they're basically robots. Pitbulls are logical beings. They, they'll pretend to listen. Then I'll be like, you know what? I'm not going to listen. I don't care. Then they'll walk away. I've seen them do that. That that triggered in my mind the fact that they are smart. That to me is what's smart. That the fact that they can listen, but they have independence like cats. Because cats can listen. I've seen cats do tricks and all that, but they don't care. They're like, give me some food or get out of my face because I want some food now. now if you're not going to give it to me, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to kill some birds and I'm going to crap in your bed. Until you give me some stuff. That's how cats are. They're smart. It's like lions, tigers, all these things. Respected animals. They're competent in what they have to do. They've mastered their crafts. It's another way to become successful. But not always. I mean, success also has to do with networking and luck. But one of the most important components is to master your craft and be competent at what you do. And be competent when dealing with other people. Because if you're not, you're not going to go anywhere. And being an alpha male is only going to last so long. And the partner chicks are going to last so long. And then chicks are going to go, you know what, man? You're, you're not that smart. You're not that fun. You're not that interesting. And this is boring. So I'm going to go talk to someone else. And you're going to have to get you're gonna get stuck in this mode where you're talking to dumb chicks. And dumb, some dumb chicks are hot. There's a lot of hot dumb chicks. But there's way more intelligent hot chicks. And you know you don't like to deal with them because they just look at you, size you up instantly, and they'd be like, you know, piss off. Piss off instantly. And no one wants to deal with that. No one wants to face that because it hurts your feelings. And it's happened to everyone. It's happened to me. It's happened to you. And, 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 and you know, it works across the board. It works across the board. But once you approach them with competence, and you can get one, that feels good. But you're not going to get that by being a moron. By adopting animalistic traits to try to attract people's respect. Try to gain people's respect. Excuse me. Well, I have a serious back cramp. But, you know, ultimately people aren't going to listen to this. You're going to go, whatever, dude. I don't care. And when you're fucking looking like a douche, 
If people give you that look, you ain't gonna know the look. You're gonna get the look. I'm not even gonna go into when you're old. Who cares when you're old? You're gonna get old. You're old. It doesn't matter anymore. Once you're old, it doesn't matter. It's like, who cares? I'm old now. But when you're gonna get that look, and people are gonna, you know, think you're an idiot. And then you're gonna have to leave and find another seed because everybody's gonna know you as that, that guy. The retarded guy, the, the competent guy that gets annoyed by you. Oh, he's gonna get on you. He's just gonna. He's not even gonna say. He's not gonna say anything stupid. He's not gonna say anything to try to. He's gonna cut you down, but he's not. He's gonna do it in a way that's so casual that you might not even catch it. Or you will. Or like you'll know something's going on, but you ain't gonna pick up on it. And by the time you do, it's like everyone's laughing at you. You might as well just leave. What are you gonna sock him in the face? You're gonna look like a douche. You retort. You're gonna look like a douche. At this point, it's like it's done. You're done. So I sat there and watched this guy yelling at the bank, and that's what happened to him. Everybody looked at him. By the time the banker cut him down in just a smooth, logical, competent way, he just he just looked like an ass. You know, and I'm sitting here waiting, you know, like, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, move. I wave my hand, get out of here, man. And he, he just leaves. He just, he just looks like an ass. Everybody's looking at him like it's a moron. He's pathetic. You know, it's pathetic. That's what an alpha male is. Pathetic animal. So you either act like a human being, or you want to act like an animal. The, the, the choice is yours. I mean, you know, the choice is yours. Bitch. <laughs>